Hey, this is Professor S coming to you from my home office. Before I get into the animation for this particular video and start the five minute or less lesson, I want to introduce the fact that this is going to be a two part set on the subject of channel mediated diffusion. This is a follow up to my videos on membrane permeability and on simple diffusion. And what we're getting at in this video is ways in which substances that are not able to engage in simple diffusion can passively move through the membrane. One of the ways that can be accomplished is with the assistance of things called channel proteins. And so we're going to see a passive process diffusion uh, that is assisted or mediated by channel proteins, hence it's channel mediated diffusion, and that's what we're looking at. In this video, the first part, I'm going to talk about the basic idea of channel mediated diffusion and introduce leakage channels, and we'll get into the idea of gated channels and who really uses these channels excessively uh, in the follow-up uh, part two video. So with that said, let's head into the animator. In my membrane permeability video, I talked about this idea of there being holes in the phospholipid bilayer to allow substances that are hydrophilic or ionic to pass through the membrane. They're not actually going to be holes, they're going to be integral membrane proteins. Integral membrane proteins like this one. These integral membrane proteins for transport purpose come in a lot of different forms. And here I want to focus on one of the types we talk about very frequently, uh, and that's the channel protein. So to fully appreciate this, let's make the cartoon transparent so you can see its inner machinations. And when we look inside the cartoon, it looks kind of like a tunnel, which is actually a good analogy. If you build a tunnel, you drill a tunnel through a mountain, a road can go from one side to the other. And in the same way, folding a protein into this tunnel-like shape and then sticking it into a cell membrane can allow particles to pass through. Channel proteins allow particles to flow through from high to low concentration, like this. Here we have a bunch of ions. Uh, there are high concentrations on the outside of the cell with me, and they're able to flow through the cell. Now, these channels are specific, meaning only certain substances have just the right conformation and charge to fit through a particular channel, in this case, sodium ions. In addition, if you look at this channel, there doesn't appear to be any way to close it. It's always open. And I feel like there's going to be a 7-Eleven or a Las Vegas joke in here somewhere, but I'm going to let that go uh, for now. It's a leakage channel. It's always open. Particles that can flow through leak. And because they're passing through from high to low concentration, they're passing through by diffusion. So this process of a substance diffusing through a plasma membrane using channel proteins is best called channel mediated diffusion because this is a situation where the substance is moving by diffusion and that diffusion is mediated by a channel. Now this one again, as I said, is a leakage channel, but they can come in another form. if we don't establish that I'm just seriously nerdy. I think I'm, I'm better for, for that. Pooh, you may have been a huge nerd once, but you just aren't that nerdy anymore. What does that even mean? I mean, come on. I'm obviously a science geek. Uh, I played video games a little. Um, I played RPGs back in the day. Look, none of that matters. You're just not as big a nerd as you think you are. You mean I'm as big a nerd as I think I am? Who are you to tell me what is and isn't nerdy? That's a Hawkins Middle School AV Club hoodie, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And a Dungeon Master's Guide? Yep. This is Professor S. If you found that video useful, there are a couple others that you might enjoy as well. Don't forget to hit the button and subscribe. <laughs> 